In this video, we're going to discuss what externalities are in economics. So an externality is when you do something that affects the well-being or the good of another person or a company, but you're neither harmed or rewarded for what you did to that person. So the externalities can be positive, they can be negative. A negative externality is when you've harmed someone. You've done something to somehow impose a cost on someone or some, some company or something, and you haven't reimbursed that person. You haven't paid them any money or, or done anything to compensate for what you did. So let's say that it's a company that we're talking about. Let's say there's a company that manufactures chemicals, and so when they produce their, their, their chemicals, there's some sludge that's left over and they just dump it in a nearby river. So there's this river and they just dump that sludge right in the river. And so let's say that there's a house, there's a house near the river and the kids from that, that home, they play in the river and they get sick. Now that company, that company has imposed costs on this family the children are getting sick but if the company hasn't done anything to reimburse that family or somehow you know paid them or done something then they're basically creating a negative externality they're they're harming someone by what they're doing right so as they produce the chemicals they're they're creating the sludge that, that is getting in the river and it's it's harming these people but the people aren't being made whole so another thing would be let's let's say that you had a, a neighbor Let's say you live in an apartment complex and your neighbor on the other side of the wall really loves to play Britney Spears music at 3 o'clock in the morning. So they're playing all these Britney Spears songs, Hit Me Baby One More Time, all this stuff at 3 in the morning, and you are having to listen to this and you say, hey, I've got an exam tomorrow and I can't study because this person is constantly listening to this music. So they're creating costs, they're doing harm to you, but they haven't reimbursed you. Now, if they had said to you, look, I just really love Britney Spears, I need to hear Britney Spears at 3 a.m., and you said, okay, you know what, I'll deal with this, but I need you to give me an extra 50 bucks a month toward my rent, and then you work out an agreement, that's different. But we're assuming here they haven't done anything to reimburse you. They're not paying you. They're just doing something that harms you, and you're not getting any benefit for that. Now, a positive externality is where you are doing something that doesn't harm someone. It actually benefits that other person. You're doing something good that just as a side, like it's, as a tangent, it's actually helping some other person or people. And so, but those people aren't turning around and compensating you for it, right? So you're doing something good. Uh, you're, you're helping yourself, but it has the side benefit of it helps other people, but those people aren't doing anything for you. And so, for example, when you get a flu shot, when you get a flu shot or other type of vaccine, and so you're doing something that helps yourself, right? You're trying to say, hey, I want to avoid getting, getting you know, the flu and so forth, so I'll just get this flu shot. But you're actually helping other people as well, right? Because if you don't get the flu, other people are less likely to get the flu as well. So they're benefiting the people who work around you and stuff. All these other people are benefiting from what you've done, but they're not compensating you. They're not saying, hey, you know what? I'm really glad you went and got the flu shot. Here's a dollar or something like that, right? And so what happens is because because you're not receiving the full social benefit, you're just getting your own private benefit, basically things where there's a positive externality, the good is going to be undersupplied. Because if you were actually paid, if people said, hey, I really like what you did, and then you, you reap the full social benefit for what you did, you might be more likely to get a flu shot. And, and, and just if you even think, let's say with your house, Let's say you've, you, you, you live in a neighborhood and there's other homes that are nearby and you do a good job maintaining your lawn and you mow your lawn and stuff, but you don't really spend a lot, a lot of time you know, making your house look pretty. Now, if your neighbor is trying to sell their house, they have a for sale sign up, they might appreciate if you went out and really did a great job maintaining your home. They would really just love that because then when people come to see their house, which is for sale, that would increase the value of their home, right? If the neighboring properties like yours look really, really nice, then that would help them sell their home because the neighborhood would look great. But you don't have an incentive. You don't have an incentive to do that. Why? Because you're only considering your own private benefit. You don't benefit if their home goes up in value, right? So, so basically, if you do something nice, 
and for your home, then that would help their their home's value, but they wouldn't turn around and compensate you necessarily. And so that's a positive externality. And for that reason, these type of goods that have a positive externality would be undersupplied. In situations where you have a negative externality, like pollution or something like that, it would be oversupplied relative to what is socially efficient or optimal.